Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies and in this video I'm going to discuss exporting a file for 3D printing from Inventor 2011, a release where we've seen some significantly new options added. So I'm going to start out with this end table right here and I'm actually going to export one of the pulls. To start this out I'm going to select the pull that I want to export and I'm going to choose print and send to 3D print service. Notice that I didn't have to open that pull directly. I simply selected it within the context of the assembly and chose the option. Now I can see that I'm going to export it as an STL and I can choose selected as one of the options choosing that pull. I can confirm this by hitting the preview button and see that there indeed is my pull isolated from the assembly and ready to export to my 3D mo uh, prototyping model. I can change the settings binary to ASCII. If I had multiple files, I could combine them into one or separate them into multiple instances, and I can control my resolution. I can change my surface deviation, the distance between each facet that makes up the model, the normal deviation or the angle between those facets, the max edge of the facets, and the aspect ratio of the facets. I can also control the internal mesh nodes and that'll help if the model has several twists in it, which this model doesn't. Choosing OK, I can then confirm my preview, inspect the model, make sure it's indeed what I want, and once I'm happy with all my settings I can go ahead and hit OK and that's going to export the file as an STL which can then be sent to a rapid prototyping machine and just like that I've seen my different options changed my different options and exported the model thanks for watching